Harvey, Oregon, huge options exploration raid. A huge rise in silver open interest complex at 199,231 contracts plus options expiry week necessitated a second raid by our criminal bankers. I wrote the following yesterday. The boys are burning the midnight oil trying to figure out what to do. There is no question that both gold and silver's open interest increased today with today's trading. The reading of open interest for tomorrow will represent today's trading finality. The decision was given to raid. Friday being a great day for the crooks because London is already put to bed for the weekend. <clears throat> and thus they are only dealing with paper gold. No physical problems to deal with. Two other factors contributed to the decision of the bankers to raid for a second time in a row. A. Options expiry week has begun with Tuesday being the final day for the COMEX. And B. The silver open interest was gigantic and that in itself necessitated a raid. Let's have a look at the data. At the Gold Comex today, we had good delivery day, registering 61 notices for 6,100 ounces of gold. And for silver, we had zero notices for nil ounces for the non-active April delivery month. Several months ago, the Comex had 303 tons of total gold. Today, the total inventory rests at 224.12 tons for a loss of 79 tons over that period. In silver, the open interest rose by a gigantic 6,698 contracts, up to 199,231, despite the fact that the price of silver was down 4 cents respect, with respect to yesterday's trading in ounces. The open interest is still represented by 99.6 billion ounces or 142% of annual global silver production, excluding Russia and excluding China. We are now at multi-year highs in open interest with respect to silver. In silver, we had zero notices served upon for nil ounces. In gold, the total COMEX gold open interest rose 4,520 contracts up to 511,334 contracts, even though the price of gold was down $4.20 with Thursday's trading at COMEX closing. Upon seeing that huge open interest number in gold, along with huge accompanying extreme high open interest in silver, was enough for our bankers and the decision to rate again was on for today. We had no changes in the gold inventory at GLD, thus the inventory rests tonight at 805.03 tons. The boys loading gold and or removing gold at GLD must be getting dizzy at the sheer pace of transactions. The appetite for gold coming from China is depleting not only gold from the LBMA and GLD but also the COMEX is bleeding gold. Our 670 tons of rock bottom inventory in the GLD gold has been broken. It looks like to me that China has taken the last amount of physical gold from the GLD. I guess the only place left for China to receive physical gold after they deplete the GLD will be the FRBNY and the COMEX. In silver, SLV, we had no change in silver inventory. Thus, the inventory rests at 334.724 million ounces. Let's see. Asian Affairs. Late night Friday morning. Oil rose to $43.36 per barrel with WTI 
and 44.867 for Brent. Stocks in Europe, all in the red except Spain. Offshore yuan trades at 6.49607 yuan to the dollar versus 6.49607 for onshore yuan. So they traded the same. Report on China. First, hundreds of Chinese children mysteriously fall ill, suffering from nosebleeds, rashes, and coughing from East China's Jiangsu province. The school is right next to a place that stores huge chemical factories. Second, early this morning, a massive explosion at a chemical plant in the same Jiangsu province. European Affairs Greece is back in the spotlight as they fail to reach a deal with lenders. Worse still, they lost their champion, the IMF, who is now who now states that Greece can survive without debt haircuts. I do not know what planet the IMF is on, but Greece is one big basket case. Great Britain has politely asked Obama not to interfere in the Brexit situation. Things must not be going well as he just gave an op-ed to Great Britain. A very important read today by David Stockman on the ECB. He basically states that this gentleman is nothing but a charlatan and do not pay attention to his phony statements. Like the European households are now lending money to finance projects, Europe has no growth in that department for quite a while. Basically, Draghi cannot go further into NERP as this will totally annihilate the European banks and he has very little assets left to monetize. The New York listed Caterpillar, perhaps the best bellwether companies to determine global health, we now witness their sales plunging 26% and they had another earnings miss. However, it is their outlook that looked upon with great earnest. They are slashing revenue and earnings. The global picture is not good at all. Emerging markets. Venezuela is without power, is without a doubt becoming one complete train wreck. They are now cutting off electricity four hours a day. Oil issues. Schlumberger, the world's largest oil service provider, has come out with nearly non-GAAP earnings, but their net income plunged nearly 50%. These guys help find oil for oil companies, and they are stating that oil drillers are cutting back and slashing spending by 50%. They have given their guidance lower. Crude rises as rig counts tumble again. The IEA warns that both Saudi and the Russians will pump as much oil as they can and will not pay attention to freezes. As it, USA stories which will influence the price of gold and silver. As expected, USA manufacturing PMI flash prints at 50.8, missing expectations of 52. This is the lowest print since 2009. This is a reading of the entire USA. We have outlined several occasions that the used car prices are coming down and this has caused the new car market, causing problems for the new car market as it is much cheaper to buy a used car than a new one. The Volkswagen car settlement case in New York will create havoc as countless numbers of used Volkswagen cars will flood the market once they are fixed. Just looking through here to see if there's anything else important.
Okay, this is about the COT. The large specs that have been long in silver added a very healthy 7,076 contracts. Those large specs that have been short in silver covered correctly 1,864 contracts from their short side. Our criminal silver commercials. Those commercials that have been long in silver added 1,844 contracts to their long side, and now the biggie. Those commercials that have been short in silver added, added a gigantic 13,512 contracts to their short side as silver went dramatically up. Those small specs that have been long in silver added 2,876 contracts to their long side. Those that have been short in silver added 168 contracts to their short side. How on earth does the CFTC allow this criminal behavior on the banks? They went net short by 11,668 or 58.34 million ounces of silver. GLD Inventory, April 18th, a huge addition of 6.38 tons of gold at the GLD, inventory rests at 812.46 ounces. April 14th, another big change in gold inventory, a withdrawal of 3.26 tons in inventory rests at 806.82 tons. April 13th, Another withdrawal of 5.06 tons of gold from the GLD. No doubt this gold was used in the raid. Inventory rested 810.08 tons. April 12th, another huge withdrawal of 2.67 tons of gold from the GLD. And again, despite the rise in gold, the voice must be desperate to get their hands on some physical. Inventory rests at 815.14 tons. That's it. Take care. Keep stacking.